Good evening and welcome to tonight's uh, SVC News. The Ministry uh, for Environment, along with its uh, partners, uh, held a workshop uh, today to engage more people in discussions on Seychelles Marine Spatial Plan, a project which started in 2014 aimed at properly defining the country's waters into zones and the activities allowed within these zones. The project is expected to be implemented as of next year. We're currently finalizing the Marine Spatial Plan, which is for the entire exclusive economic zone of Seychelles, and uh, finalizing what the allowable activities will be in the three different zones. And at the same time, we're in a phase where we're transitioning to implementation. So we've started drafting uh, management plans and frameworks, looking at the legislative requirements. So we're actually in two phases, finalizing the plan in the zoning phase, but also transitioning to implementation. Journalism students and media practitioners are better equipped to investigate and report on human rights issues after they attended a half-day workshop today organized by the Human Rights Commission. Funded by the European Union, the workshop saw the participation of the Ombudsman's Office, the Information Commission and the Seychelles Media Commission. While it was hosted specially for media practitioners, very few responded to the event which was held at the Savoy Hotel. Despite the poor turnout at the workshop on human rights for journalists, for those who were there, it was an opportunity to interact with four institutions who's been mandated by law to undertake the checks and balances on government. They are the Ombudsman, the Human Rights Commission, the Access to Information Commission and the Seychelles Media Commission. Several representations were made by the institutions on accountability, good governance and transparency. Launching the workshop today, the Chief Executive of the Human Rights Commission, Elvis Gili, spoke on the role of the media in promoting human rights, which are embedded in the country's constitution. The diverse background, capacities and experiences present today illustrate that in today's world, media cannot and should not be restricted to simplistic and timid journalism of the days gone by. Because today, media persons are more than just journalists and reporters. They have the power and the ability to speak truth to power and to hold those in power accountable. The workshop uh, is the second uh, of a series of sessions to be conducted for the media as part of an EU-funded project. The defense of the human rights uh, is a, one of the main objectives of the European Union and we found this, this workshop because we do think that uh, even if Seychelles is a still a strong democracy with a strong constitution as we have seen and, uh, and freedom is, uh, is a reality here, uh, we do think that we always have to improve uh, our status of, uh, of freedom and, and constitutional rights. Today, I have a special thought about all these uh, uh, journalists killed in, uh, in Ukraine uh, during the Russian invasion, and uh, as well as all the journalists who cannot talk freely about the realities of the war and the, and the realities of the, of the world situation. Eight prison staff undertook a self-defense training this morning with the aim of improving more skill sets of both existing staff and those who have been recently recruited. jean Bruno Lorette, the trainer, addressed many techniques such as handcuffing, cell searches, amongst others. The training will end on the 3rd of May and those who have successfully demonstrated their understanding and competence will be presented with uh, certificates. In its latest meeting chaired by President Wevel Romkalawan, the Cabinet of Ministers discussed various proposals to increase the production of power for Pralin and La Ligue to address the increasing demand for power on the, the two islands. The Public Utilities Corporation, the PUC, submitted the proposals as part of government's plan to ensure adequate supply of clean energy for the country. 
Cabinet also discussed proposed alternatives and innovative types of power production, such as biomass and solar power, after which it requested that further analysis be done before a final decision is taken on the way forward. Those are our main stories so far this Wednesday evening. Join us again at 8. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.